Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I'm here with the podcast. So what is going down is this. If you guys do not know, once again, YouTuber Trish Paytas was trending all over Twitter last night. So what went down, if you join me for my live stream, we had a good old time. So as I was winding down for bed, I jumped on to Twitter to see what was trending. And the number one trending topic in the world last night <laughs> was literally Trish Paytas trending all over social media because she is currently dating and making out with Jaclyn Hill's ex-husband john hill okay so if you guys don't know who jacqueline hill is she's the one who went through the whole lipstick gate this year with the shards of glass and the hair on her lipstick and people were dragging her and it was a bunch of damn mess okay so that is who she is trish paytas is just literally uh the the attention whore of youtube um so anyway she took to her social media instagram page and in front of her two million followers she posted a um instagram story of her and john hill making out kissing honey having a good old funky time and then on top of that she also posted a picture on her instagram and basically she titles it i can't wait to get pregnant tonight at john hill 822 i fucking love you so y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my comments. All right, so you guys just saw the video. So, of course, people on social media went crazy behind this. Twitter was going crazy last night. It was definitely lit. A lot of folks had things to say. People were dragging her. They're like, there goes Trish again, always keeping stuff going. So, of course, people were interested in what Jaclyn Hill had to say. She basically was tweeting about some damn corn dip, but she sure enough saw the picture. She saw them kissing, and she liked a few shady comments, okay? So, this is one of the comments that Jaclyn Hill was caught liking y'all go ahead and check this out so somebody wrote uh trish paytas with jacqueline hill's ex is the weirdest crossover of all time and jacqueline hill actually liked that um but in the meantime she was also posting this she goes my friend just gave me her corn dip recipe i'm so excited to make it for new year's eve it's so simple but so amazing so basically trying to ignore the fact that her ex-husband is trending worldwide for kissing trish paytas okay now her and now jacqueline hill and her ex-husband and they've been divorced since about 2018. They were together for nine years. They both obviously since moved on. Jaclyn Hill has a whole new boyfriend. And, you know, her ex-husband is now running behind Trish. But, you know, my tin hat is tingling like always. I do feel like this is a stunt, okay? As we all know, Trish will do anything to trend. She'll do anything for social media attention. This is the same woman who came out two months ago claiming that she was transgender. And she received so much backlash. People drug the hell out of her. So, of course, to deflect from her transgender drama, she then told everybody that on November 1st, she was going to get married. She put on this whole thing in Las Vegas. She announced it to her followers that she would be marrying some secret man. She had everybody tune in. I didn't tune in, okay? I, I'm not watching that shit. I didn't tune into it, but I heard about it. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this news clip of what went down on November 1st. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Trisha Paytas finally revealed who she married in Las Vegas. Last month, the YouTube star had fans guessing when she revealed in a video she was engaged and getting married on November 1st. She disclosed very little about the mystery man, except that he was more private than her and she was going to keep the ceremony low-key. She then proceeded to document every second and celebrate her nuptials on stage with magician Chris Angel. But fans of Trisha know she is infamous for trolling. 
Five days later, the YouTuber shares her wedding video for fans to watch the entire ceremony unfold. Spoiler alert, it was all a sham. In the seven minute video, Trisha walks down the aisle arm in arm with her mother to meet a cardboard cutout of Brad Pitt in a suit. Still, the commitment ceremony featured an efficient music, a photographer, and vows. Someone even stood behind the cardboard cutout to speak, exchanging vows with Trisha and placing a ring on her hand. I never thought I would. I never thought I would find someone who wouldn't leave me and who wouldn't talk back to me and judge me for being crazy. Like, this is real and this means a lot. From the moment I got you in the mail, I knew. Ultimately, Trisha sealed the ceremony by making out with the cardboard cutout before carrying it down the aisle with her. Needless to say, fans were far from thrilled with the YouTuber stunt. As one viewer commented, this is literally so dumb. Trisha's wedding prank comes just four weeks after she received much criticism for coming out as a transgender man. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip with Trish Paytas basically getting married to a cardboard cutout of damn Brad Pitt. This woman will do anything for attention, and I feel like this whole situation with her and John Hill, I refuse to take this relationship seriously. I think at this point they're just both trolling. I don't know if John's trying to get under Jacqueline's skin, but I feel like they're trolling. They're looking for attention. I mean, I, even, even if they are, you know, mysteriously somehow in love and really dating, I don't see it last. None of Trisha's relationships last because she's batshit crazy and she doesn't know she's coming or going. This girl is such a mess. But, you know, like I said, the whole situation was funny because she was literally trending worldwide. I'm like, what the hell happened to this girl? Did she get hit by a bus? Is she okay? And no, of course, that, that's not what happened. She was kissing Jaclyn Hill's ex-husband. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Trish Paytas. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. Nobody at all. Nobody, baby. And here comes Trish, locking lips with John Hill. So let me know your thoughts. How do you guys feel about this entire situation? Were you shocked when you saw her trending? And do you feel like this is a real relationship? And do you see her and John Hill being together long term? Or do you feel like they're both looking for attention? And then how do you guys feel about Jacqueline Hill's, you know, nonchalant response by basically talking about corn dip and liking shady tweets instead, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And last but not least, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be down with the notification squad. All right, deuces.